Is this thing on? Is this thing on? What's good, YouTube? We are back with another tier list video, and today I am giving you guys my NBA early season rankings. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, we got my favorite team, the Boston Celtics. I would put them at an A, but I'm going to go ahead and put them at an S because they were in the finals last season, so they're starting off right where they left off last year. Next up, we got the Kings. I think they're doing their thing this year, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to go ahead and put them at a C. Atlanta Hawks, eh. I'm going to go ahead and put them at a B. You know, Ice Trey gets locked up every now and again, but they can shoot the ball, and DeJounte Murray is doing his thing as well. The Detroit Pistons, man. They're number 15. They're in that running for a Wembenyama. Yeah, hopefully I said that right. Let me know in the comment section below if I pronounced that right. The Philadelphia 76ers, and they're doing their thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put them at an A. And B, you know, nah, no. I'm going to go ahead and put them at a B. I'm going to go ahead and drop them down to a B. The Milwaukee Bucks, they're S tier. Giannis Antetokounmpo is doing his thing. The Celtics did beat them last year. You know, he's, in my opinion, the best player in the planet right now. Memphis Grizzlies, so I can go ahead and put them at an A. They're doing their thing. The Grady King, Ja Morant, still showing you why he's one of the top five point guards in the league. Check out that video right here. Next up, we got the Denver Nuggets. They're second in the East, so... I mean, they're second in the West, so I'm going to go ahead and put them at S tier. Ah, no, but they got bounced last year, so I'm going to keep them at A. Golden State. Where are they at, man? How are they doing this year? I know they are off to a rough start last time I checked. But they were in the finals, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put them at an A. That's the only reason why they're not at an S tier is because of their current record. Uh, the Cavs. That boy DG is doing his thing. I'm going to go ahead and put them and Donovan Mitchell and Evan Mobley. I'm going to go ahead and put them at an A. The Phoenix Suns. I'm going to put them at an A because last season they were the first seed. And this season they are number three in the West. So I'm going to put them at an A. Give them their respect. The Washington Wizards. I like their team. I'm not 100% sold on them. So I'm going to put them at a B. The Pacers. I'm going to put them out of seats. So they can go either which way. Not too sold on them. The Dallas Mavericks, where are they ranked right now? They're ranked 6th in the West. So I'm going to go ahead and put them at a B because that record isn't screaming out to me a whole lot. But they did make it to the Western Conference Finals last year. So Clippers. I'm not impressed with them. I think they're overrated. Well, I think Kawhi is a little overrated. You know, I think he's just trying to make it to the postseason. I just want to see him play a full season. In the postseason, he's just injury prone. The Toronto Raptors. Toronto Raptors. I'm going to go ahead and put them out of C. They're always just there. You know, they're always just in the mix. They're ne never too high, never too low. The Rockets. Actually, no. Let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah. The Spurs. D, not really feeling them. The Pelicans, I'll put them at a B just because they do have a nice young team. They just trying to get healthy. Okay, so surprisingly, I'm gonna put Portland at an A because they are number one in the West what? right now and Bro, they didn't even make about, the play in. So I'm just gonna give them their respect just because of the record. It's hard to do, especially in the West. We all know that the West is basically a gauntlet, so you gotta give them their respect where it's due. Let's go ahead and go the Houston Rockets. They're not that good. They're in the race for the Juan Banana sweepstakes. So let's go ahead and do that. The Utah Jazz. I thought they were in the race for the Juan Banana sweepstakes, but they're not. So I'm going to put them out of C because Woj said they're for real. So, A. Brooklyn Nets. I'm going to put out an A. They're starting to play. Eh. No, I'm going to put out a B. They're starting to play defense. Next up, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm going to go ahead and put them out of C just because I personally think that them going out and getting Rudy Gobert hurt them, took away spacing. I'm going to go ahead and put them there. Knicks, they're terrible. The Miami Heat, I'm going to put them out of C just because they're the Miami Heat and they'll always be in the playoffs. Chicago Bulls, Zach Levine, that team, if they could stay healthy. 
I'll put them there. Next up, we have the Orlando Magic. Paulo Bancuro is going to win Rookie of the Year. And they're also going to be in the sweepstakes for the Manvignana. The Thunder, SGA, and Giddy. I'm going to put them at a B. I like what they're doing. Let's see their standings. Dang, bro. I just, I'm just a big fan of SGA and Giddy. So I'm going to go ahead and put them at a C. Even though I really should put them here. I'm going to go ahead and put them there just because I know they're in the Wambinyana Sweet Stakes as well. LaMelo Ball and Company, because that's pretty much all that's going on in Charlotte. 3 and 11. Boom. There you have it, guys. That is my NBA early season tier list based off last year and their current games that they have played. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys agree with me. Peace.